Forage like a farmer, think like a cow, that's my motto. And nothing says good eats to a ruminant like a heaping helping of silage. This fermented forage is like gold for livestock, packed with nutrients to keep them healthy and productive. Think of it as preserving the goodness of pasture during those lean months when grass isn't readily available. Now you might be thinking fermented feed sounds kind of funky, but trust me, there's a science to it. And the results are worth it. Silage is more than just chopped up plants. It's a carefully controlled ecosystem where beneficial bacteria do their magic, transforming raw forage into a nutrient-rich powerhouse. Good silage is about maximizing digestibility and minimizing loss. We want our animals to get the most out of every bite. And that starts with understanding the end selling process. It's like baking a cake. The right ingredients and conditions are key to a successful outcome. So, whether you're a seasoned farmer or just starting out, join me as we delve into the world of silage production. We'll explore the steps to creating high-quality feed that your livestock will love and that will keep your farm thriving year-round. Before we fire up the chopper, let's talk about what's going in that silage. Different crops have different nutritional profiles, and what you choose will depend on your climate and the mouths you're feeding. Corn is a classic choice for silage. It's high in energy and palatable, making it a favorite for beef and dairy cattle. Sorghum is another warm season option that's drought tolerant, while cool season grasses like ryegrass and oats are good choices for areas with milder climates. Don't be afraid to think outside the box either. Legumes like alfalfa and clover can add a protein boost to your silage and small grains like barley and triticle can provide a good balance of energy and fibre. The key is to select crops that will thrive in your region and meet the specific nutritional needs of your livestock. Remember, diversity is the spice of life and the same goes for your silage. Mixing different forage species can create a more balanced feed and improve palatability. It's all about providing your animals with a diverse and nutritious diet that will keep them healthy and productive. Harvesting at the right time is crucial for making high quality silage. It's a bit like picking fruit. You want to catch it at peak ripeness when the sugar content is highest. For most crops, this means harvesting when they're still green and actively growing. Corn, for example, should be chopped when the kernels are at the dough stage, meaning they're still soft and milky. Grasses and legumes should be cut before they become too mature and fibrous. Harvesting too early can result in lower yields and a more acidic silage, while harvesting too late can lead to nutrient losses and reduced digestibility. It's a balancing act. But by paying attention to your crops and knowing the optimal harvest window, you can ensure that you're capturing the maximum nutritional value in your silage. Keep a close eye on the weather forecast too. Rain or excessive moisture can wreak havoc on silage quality, so try to harvest during a dry spell. The goal is to minimize the amount of unwanted moisture that goes into the silo. Now that you've got your forage harvested, it's time to break out the chopper. This step is critical for ensuring proper fermentation and creating a silage that's easy for your animals to digest. Think of it like this. The smaller the chop, the more surface area there is for the good bacteria to work their magic. This leads to a faster and more efficient fermentation process, resulting in higher quality silage. Aim for a chop length of about one half to three quarters of an inch for most crops. This size allows for good packing and minimizes air pockets, which are the enemy of good silage. Too long and it won't ferment properly. Too short and it can be unpalatable and lead to digestive issues. Chopping also helps to break down the plant material, making it easier for your animals to digest. This is especially important for crops with tough stems like corn and sorghum, which can be difficult for livestock to break down on their own. Section five, the end siling dance, packing it in. With your forage chopped and ready to go, it's time for the main event, end siling. This is where the real magic happens, as we create the anaerobic environment necessary for fermentation. The key here is to pack the chopped forage as tightly as possible into your chosen storage structure. This could be a bunker silo, a tower silo, or even just a large pile covered with plastic. 
The goal is to minimize the amount of air trapped within the silage, as oxygen is the enemy of good fermentation. I like to think of it as a giant game of Tetris. Spread the chopped forage in thin layers and pack it down firmly using a tractor or other heavy equipment. The more weight you can apply, the better. This squeezing out of oxygen creates the anaerobic conditions necessary for the beneficial bacteria to thrive and do their work. Section 6. The Magic of Fermentation. Nature's Preservative. Once you've got your silage packed tight, the fermentation process begins. This is where the real magic happens, as naturally occurring bacteria convert sugars in the plant material into lactic acid. Lactic acid is a natural preservative that lowers the pH of the silage, inhibiting the growth of harmful bacteria and molds that can cause spoilage. Think of it like pickling. The acidic environment preserves the forage and makes it safe for long-term storage. The fermentation process typically takes several weeks to complete, during which time you'll notice a rise in temperature and a change in smell. This is perfectly normal and indicates that the process is working as it should. Section 7. Safeguarding the bounty, storage and monitoring. Proper storage is crucial for maintaining silage quality and preventing spoilage. Your silage storage structure should be airtight to prevent oxygen from seeping in and ruining all your hard work. For bunker silos and piles, this means ensuring that the plastic cover is tightly sealed and weighted down to prevent air pockets. Tower silos should be sealed at the top to prevent air from entering. Regularly monitor your silage for signs of spoilage, such as a foul odour, mould growth or excessive heating. These are all indications that something is amiss and that the silage may not be safe to feed. Section 8. Unlocking the nutritional vault, feeding silage right. Now, for the moment of truth, feeding your silage. But before you go scooping it out to your livestock, there are a few things to keep in mind to ensure they get the full nutritional benefits. First, introduce silage into your animals' diets gradually. Their rumens need time to adapt to this new feedstuff and a sudden change can cause digestive upset. Second, always feed silage that's fresh from the face of the pile or bunker. Exposure to air can lead to spoilage, so only take out what you'll feed immediately. Lastly, remember that silage is just one part of a balanced diet. Supplement with hay, pasture or other feeds as needed to meet your livestock's nutritional requirements. Section 9. Silage success, reaping the rewards. Congratulations. You've mastered the art of silage production. Now it's time to sit back and enjoy the rewards of your hard work. High quality silage is more than just feed. It's an investment in the health and productivity of your livestock. It provides them with a readily available source of nutrients, even during the lean months when pasture is scarce. This translates into numerous benefits for your farm, including improved animal health and performance, reduced feed costs, and increased farm resilience. Silage provides essential nutrients that support growth, reproduction, and overall well-being. It can be a more cost-effective feed option compared to purchasing hay or other forages. Having a stockpile of silage on hand provides a buffer against feed shortages during droughts or other challenging conditions. Section 10, a feed for the future. As we look to the future of agriculture, silage production will continue to play a vital role in feeding a growing world. By embracing sustainable practices and constantly seeking ways to improve silage quality, we can ensure a steady supply of nutritious feed for our livestock. Remember, making great silage isn't just about following a recipe. It's about understanding the science behind the process and adapting to the unique conditions of your farm. It's about working with nature to transform humble forage crops into a nutritional powerhouse that will nourish your animals and sustain your farm for years to come.